Good morning, everyone. It's uh, June the 27th, 2024. Uh, as you can see from my title, it's um, quite different today. I'm not putting out that second part of what I'm working on. That'll come uh, in the next few days. But I had a special bulletin that I wanted to put out today. Last night, our local CTV News um, put up a, a video that we had a devastating flood in uh, St. Joe's and in here in Ottawa and St. Joe's is a, um, a drop-in center for women only uh, they operate out of the, the uh, basement church and um, they uh, had a devastating flood one of the pipes burst and flooded out uh, the shelter that they have there for, um, for only for women this is a shelter as well only for women and this outreach program is only for women and they do wonderful work there uh, well, after I separated from my husband in 2010 and I was trying to get back on my feet and I was living in a shelter and it was nice to have this uh, drop-in center for me to drop into and it was a great deal of help to me and I would like to repay pay them back by announcing that um, they are in deep trouble right now um, with the flood uh, it may take several weeks for them to get back up on their feet again there was a lot of damage. Their food supply was all destroyed for the women. Um, it was a great place to be. I think it's very important that we band together to try and see what we can do. So if there's anyone in any position at all to help St. Joe's, uh, please, I know CTV News, our local Ottawa CTV News here, uh, put a link up to um, the things that they are going to need, such as food and uh, necessary uh, items that uh, they would normally to supply to the women when we came in and this is um, badly needed this is one place of refuge as well that the women on the streets can away get can actually get away from the abuse of men and that's where these women's outreach programs and the, um, the centers that we have are very important because they can escape some of the abuse for, even for um, a couple of hours it gives them a bit of reprieve because I've seen this firsthand and I've been talking about this certainly on my videos over the with Julie on the abuse as well on the on the homeless women as well so we badly need this up and running if anyone is in any position at all in the Ottawa area please step up and see what you can do to help and go to that link on CTV so this is where I'm going to leave it today everyone please take care be safe Watch your surroundings, and certainly be kind to your neighbors. And we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.